ever feel something like me tree It's still these old tall from the day it was born For the tree was born in a thunderstorm Grow, grow the lightning tree It's never too late for you and me Grow, grow the lightning tree But never give in too easily There they go. Don't they look grand? I hate the hunt. Why? Because of the fox, of course. Look, that shadow. Eston Smith's new horse. He's beautiful. Doesn't he go? He bought him for steeplechasing. I reckon Shadow's going to take half the cups in the county. Not like that, he won't. Are you all right? The brute! I'll have his expensive hide off! I'll teach you! Right. Come here! Come here! They went, uh, that way. Well, don't just stand there grinning. Go and catch him. He's been playing up all morning. What that horse needs is a good fashion. Come on, then. Come on. Come on. Come on. Looking into you this morning. That's the squire's daughter you threw in the muck. Was, you know. <laughs> What do you think? Well, he seems to be fighting the bit all the time. You can tell by his head. He's beautiful. Not so beautiful if he won't do what he's told. It's no good, Daddy. He just does what he wants to do when he wants to do it. Look, try using your hands less. You see, he's not accepting the bit. Now, use your legs and not your hands. You got it? Come on, girl. Try it again. Go on. That horse cost me a lot of money. But it's no good if Isabel can't ride it. Look at that. Well, she's certainly not happy on him. Well, she should be happy. She's my daughter, damn it. Look, Colonel, why don't you take the horse and knock some sense into it? Well, I don't know about knocking. Well, you know what I mean. Get into shape. Well, will you take it? Well, I'd like to. Of course, he's a fine animal. But I have about as much as I can handle. To tell you the truth, I'm rather crowded out with horses at the moment. Oh, do take Shadow, Uncle. Well, that's all very well, my girl. Well, we could take him. There's an empty store next to Germany, and I'll school him. You will. Oh, she could do it all right. But you're working all hours as it is. Well, I'll get up early. Five o'clock. Oh, all right. We'll try him for a month. Oh, thank you. You won't regret it. The crack of dawn for you, Shadow.
I'm very proud of you. And tomorrow we'll try proper jumps with me on your back. Hey, old shadow, would you like that? You know, that brought you out a cup. Cheers, slugger. Oh, you're enough good to me. If anybody ever tells you you're not as pretty as Dora, don't believe them. What's Dora playing at, anyway? Up at a crack every morning. Oh, it's that old shadow, innit? Uh. Oh, this water's cold. Hey, you want to get some flesh on you? Keep the cold out. You want to get a bit off, old love? That's muscle, that is. Boxer's muscle. Box? Yeah. Come on, then. Come uh, on. Watch Come it, son. On. Come You're on. playing with fire. Right there, go on, go on. And right I there. had the finger What's in 40. <laughs> Hey, Queensbury rules. You all right, Slug? <sighs> ah, cheers. Yeah, God bless, Tart. Hmm. Morning slugger, she says. Morning slugger. Still the middle of the night, isn't it? No time for any young lady to be about. Ain't respectable. Early to rise, early to bed. Yeah, I know. Makes a man Alfie, wealthy and dead. <laughs> oh, slugger. You shouldn't have got up. I well, can't have you gallivanting about without something warm inside you. You ought to have a cup of tea. Thank you, slugger. How long's it going on for, anyhow? What, training shadow? Yeah. Not long. Not long at all, as a matter of fact. I've got an idea. Now, here's something I want to show you. It's called a bitless bridle, a hackamore. See, it's got no nasty steel bit to pull at your poor mouth. Now, this bottom strap, it'll press on your nose so that when I pull it, you'll know what I want you to do. All right? You. Sorry, I was trying to be quiet. It's all right. Yes, thanks. Can you get the saddle? Yeah. How are things going with Shadow? Touch wood, not bad. You've been very mysterious. Well, it's sort of our secret, isn't it, Shadow? Seems like it. Do you want to see a couple of show-offs? Come and see him jump. All right, then. Yanking his head about too much. Oh, I don't mean really cruel, just heavy handed. Typical of that hunt crowd. Oh, you just got a down on them, Dora. It's not that, it's just all part of their, oh, I don't know, up guards and atom mentality. And Shadow's got a soft mouth. Extra soft. And some horses are like that. How's Shadow doing? Softly, softly, catchy Shadow. Let's see how we go. Where are you 
bin. Right behind you. You want to put pedals on that thing? Go faster. I've got this dodgy gearbox, ain't I? Get a new one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and get a new bike while you're at it. Can't afford it, can I? Cost yeah. money. Pick up a new one for 30 quid. Yeah? Lou? What? Blender's 30 quid. Do you what? You heard. You've got plenty of money. Oh, I haven't, you know. Besides, buying stuff for a thing like that, it's cruelty to money. Phew, I wish I was in my bed. It's the best time, is this, for a burn-up? There's no traffic on the road. Oh, of course not. Anyone with any sense is still in bed. It was great back there. I was doing 90 coming round Scrag's Bend. Oh, pull the other leg, mate. That's 90! Nice. Yeah, 90! <laughs> I'll reach you down the hill. Hey, Lou! Hang up, Bert! I've broken down! Oh, you rotten bike! You! What are you? Hey! Hey! <laughs> You've got a steeplechaser there. He's pretty good, isn't he? Pretty good. He's great. Now, that's interesting. Thanks, Lugger. You ever thought of doing them scrambled? Scrambled, he says. What's wrong with fried? Every day. Look, anyone who don't like my cooking can do his own. Anyway, fried eggs is it's a, a proper, proper breakfast. breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> well, so it is. Ah, oh, that's all right. Slugger me on, mate. Me, I'm so starving, I could eat an horse between two mattresses. Oh, Ron. Yeah, well, you can always have them raw. Huh? Oh. I used to train on that. Raw eggs and start. Here, Slugs, can I borrow the truck after breakfast? Oh, boy. I want to pick up me bike. Conked out on me. Where is it? Over by nine acres, in an edge. <laughs> That's where the truck will finish up if you drive it. Here, yeah, someone might pinch it. Oh, some hope. Do you want me to drive the truck? Yeah, well, don't take more day. There's work to be done. What about Shadow, then? What about him? He's jumping well this morning. How do you know? Well, I saw, didn't I? Why, what is it, national secret? Jumped like a champion, didn't he? Yeah. What's she up to? Dora? Yeah. Not as far as I know. If that horse jumps like that, he's valuable. Worth thousands. Well, he is worth thousands, and he certainly is a jumper. Well, supposed to be, but not everyone knows he is. Oh, crafty old Dora knows. <laughs> and crafty old Steve. <laughs> and now, uh, clever old Ron, eh? Hey, listen, Steve. Why don't we buy him? Shadow? Yeah. He's worth thousands. Well, not if he can't jump, he ain't. He can jump, can't he? Oh, yeah, but nobody knows that. Except us. Don't talk so daft. Look, the squire said if he wasn't killed, he'd settle for what he'd forget, right? Yeah. So, if we could scrape together, say, uh, 400 quid, we could do the squire a favour. Take Shadow off his hands. Yeah, and then what? Well, sell him, of course, as a jumper. Make a few bob. You can make a few bob robbing banks. The only trouble is it's against the law. Let's get it up, shall we? Just a thought. It's a winner. Do you think so? Yep. Oh. All we need is 400 quid. I know just the chap. Drink up. What? Uh. Fight to the field. Fight to the field for what? What are you going to have me? What? Commissal. Nine pounds or two, Commissal. One night. Not now, son, not now. Later. Fight to the field. The runners are about to leave the paddock for the next race for the public, please. You're like smart on this. Can she jump? Like a dream. Like a dreamy. Oh. Oh, oh, yes. oh, I'm yes. sorry, miss. Do you mind taking your business elsewhere? Ten pence or paddle jumper. 
We couldn't sell it. That'd be crazy. But there might be a way. There yeah. might be a way. Do you reckon you could borrow the horse for a couple of hours? Easy. Yeah. We might be in the money. <laughs> be in the money. Now listen. I've got to see her. Jump in, of course. Okay. Uh, tomorrow morning, five o'clock. Five o'clock. Oh, blimey, she better be good. That's all. That'll make a lot of money. Thanks, sir. Now, you two are going to have to put some bets on for me. I'm not allowed to bet on the course. It's against the rules. So, I'll give you a couple of hundred quid. You put a bet on here, a bit on there, along the course. A couple of hundred? I'm not messing about, you know. Do this job right, and by half past four this afternoon, that couple of hundred will be a couple of thousand. Two thousand quid? I'll tell you what we'll do. When we get on the course, Hollyfoot Farm, Maddox speaking. Tom Scrag here. Mr. Aston Smith's groom. Mr. Aston Smith's asked me to come out this afternoon and pick up Shadow. Got a horse box? Ah, we'll be sending over our horse box. We're entering Shadow for 430 race at point point. <laughs> <laughs> You're still there? It's just a uh, one of the horses playing up. So we'll be out this afternoon about 330, sir. Right, sir. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> but <Bye. laughs> right, <old> sir. <laughs> Get out. But why does he want Shadow back? To enter him for the 4.30, I told you. But he's nowhere near ready yet. But well, they could ruin everything. Cheer up. Look, I'll ask the Colonel if we can go to the races. Just to watch, eh? I don't want to go. Not now. Oh, Dora. Shadow does belong to old Eston Smith, you know. It is his horse. He's not ready. He's... Dora! He'll have that girl pulling on his mouth again. Oh, how I hate it. Hey. <laughs> well, the old hot rod got us here. Yeah, I thought you said it were busted. Got it fixed, didn't I? Where do you get 30 quid from? Oh, I, uh... I've done this fella a favour. Oh, we some favour. Uh, uh, uh. Do you want to go down the paddock and watch him saddle up? No, that's all right, mate. I've, uh, I've got to do this fella another favour. See you later. Yeah. The executive would like to thank Messrs Wensley and Son for their generosity in sponsoring the main race of the afternoon, the Wensley Cup. The Wensley Cup is the third race on the programme this afternoon. Hello, Steve. In the, In the interest, interest of the, the public, public, it is pointed out, out that the Red Cross hut is situated just behind Hello. the paddock. Very Aren't you riding this afternoon? No, I just rode over. We haven't got anything that can really jump. Not against this field. How's Shadow? Oh, he's fine. Your father's coming over about three o'clock to pick him up. Time of the 4.30. But Daddy's in London. Your groom phoned. Who, Berkshaw? I suppose so. He phoned this morning. But Berkshaw's been with me all morning, exercising the horses. Anyhow, if Daddy was entering Shadow, he'd have told me. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. That's funny. Steve? Steve? Where's Shadow? What's happened? Gone. They came and took him about half an hour ago. There's something going on at that point to point. I think Shadow's been stolen. Stolen? But why? There's only one way to find out, isn't there? 
Here are the runners and riders for the next race. First, number five, written by Mr. J. Shankton. Number seven, Mr. G. Wilby. Number 12, Mr. J. Judd. 17, Mr. R. Moore. Number 21, Mr. W. Wolfrey. Number 26, Mr. F. J. Thorne. Number 29, Mr. R. Stryker. Afternoon. Afternoon. Shadow, 4.30. What do I weigh up then? On the other side, please. Thank you. Twenty quid on the nose, Shadow. Twenty. Shadow, trained by Noel Merlish, ridden by Rob Strong. Can't you go any faster, please? I can't, can I? As long as it takes me new gearbox, isn't it? That's what I said. 20 to win, Shadow. It's not my fault you haven't heard of it, is it? And most of the runners now make their way down to the start. And one of the last ones to get down to the start is number 29, Shadow. And very soon they'll be coming on the start of orders. The white flag's gone up there on the start of orders. They're starting to make a line now as they come up. Cream caramel just backed away a little there, and this time it could be this time that they're off. No, cream caramel just playing up just a little bit. There's a better line, and they're off. Now as they run towards the first, these 18 fences, Fish Hunter, one of the first to go on from Nature's Gift, then comes Tittle Street right in behind these on the outside, then comes the Great Tudor Conquest, they're over the first. And it's Fish Hunter in the lead from Nature's Gift, then comes Tidville Street. Right on the outside, the Great Tudor Conquest, then comes Cream Caramel. Blueprints in the hand position, just in behind the five leaders as they come out towards the next fence. We're too late. Poor Shadow. Nature's Gift, then comes Tidville Street, and Shadow now beginning to make up ground as they come onto the outside. And Shadow is now burst through to take up the run as they run towards the next. It's Shadow in the lead. Going through as they come towards the side of the street. But Shadow's refused. There's their fish on the back of the lead there. Oh, Once again from Nature's Gift, Tim to the Fish Hunter Conquest. And Shadow left yeah. right back there. He's not going to swing it past it. And Shadow's come absolutely on. refused at that oh, one. Meanwhile, it's Fish Hunter and Nature's Gift. Still the two leaders. And as I look back, I can see Mr. Stryker having another go with Shadow, but he's having quite a job there to get Shadow to go into this fence. And it's Fish Hunter still the leaders. We go back with the leaders from Nature's Gift, Tim to the Street. Then comes Tudor Conquest. And Shadow still having nothing to do with this whatsoever, as the others have gone right away. And Mr. Stryker's up. Oh, Shadow! 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 And as they go towards the next, then comes Tudor Conquest. Benny's on making ground on the outside, but they come up towards the winning post. And it's Fish Hunter the winner from Nature's Gift. Then comes Tidwell Speed in third place. And the leading three of them followed in by Tudor Conquest. Then comes Cream Caramel, as I look back, the last one is coming is Benny's on. Hey! I want you. So one woman asked you got there, Dora. You can't tell, Shadow. You have to ask. Softly, softly, catchy Shadow. Up to you, grow, grow the light. 